<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you know, first time listeners who are going into like a newer episode and that have to deal with our fucking shenanigans in the beginning are probably not going to enjoy that. Nah, it's fine. We're not going to Before you were putting all that ear rape shit on there. What? When do I do? Oh, uh, it was that one time you just kept playing that one that was really loud Mexican music. Oh, yeah, yeah. The yeah. blown out speaker one. I I've tried to save them for the end of the episode now. Yeah. We haven't done any sound bits in a while. Yeah, I just kind of feel like they didn't really add that much to the show. They did. <laughs> well, I guess they do. Yeah. Uh, they, they, if they are timed right. If they're timed correctly, yes. Yeah. But I was just like trying to focus more on my improvisational skills as That's opposed improv, to. Right? I guess it's kind of like yeah. improv, but you know, just on speaking alone. That's what I'm trying to focus on. I just on. want like a whole like board of sounds that would be a nightmare just and boom, 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 boom. i would not give you access to any board we sound like mojado over here what's up everybody welcome to another episode of the night funk we're back at it again yep with another stupid <laughs> unprepared episode that's kind of prepared, we talked kind about of prepared. It. yeah we talked about it but uh, today we're doing what historical fights or uh, historical one v one. So uh, it's historical and uh, famous people, and we're gonna see if we can take them in a fight. Okay. So I'm gonna name them. Where did this idea come from? Uh, just random. Just random. Yeah, I was just thinking that day. I was like, oh, that'd be funny. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna knock out the. Uh, I wonder if I can beat the shit out of Stephen Hawking. <laughs> so that was one of the first that I was gonna start with. <laughs> um, just knock out the easy ones first. So Stephen yeah. Hawking, fucking stomp that bitch. Uh, uh, that would just be unfair. Yeah, exactly. But I mean, you'll win. Yeah. Yeah. Unless, he's unless a mecca. <laughs> unless he's coming at you from a downhill. No, there's a safety on the wheels. Like, imagine you're in San Fran and you're going uphill, and he's fucking just <laughs> booking it. He's booking <laughs> it downhill. He's about to just fucking plow right through you, dog. I'm going to fuck you up. <laughs> <laughs> We <laughs> save his corpse. Yeah, but no, it like, will um, be my new vessel. <laughs> <laughs> he does the fucking Shao Kahn thing, transfers his soul. I wouldn't be surprised if Stephen Hawking had enough money influence to try to pull some fucking like get out shit, where he's trying to get like the body of like a black athlete. It's so just, that's he's not dead, huh? He's not dead then. Then I guess not. He's Usainian Bolt. <laughs> he's Usain Bolt. <laughs> <laughs> that would be you know if I was. I have the fastest cock. <laughs> <laughs> he has the fastest turtle. What? Yeah, he races turtles, <laughs> and he has the fastest turtle in the world. Why? <laughs> because he's the fastest man in the world. Do you think he ever just like, like, puts it in a backpack and he's like, "I'm gonna show you real speed." <laughs> the turtles. Like, <gasps> <laughs> That's what motivates the turtle to whoop ass. Yeah. He's just like, I have to do it for dad. <laughs> I, I need to look. I mean. I need to find a video of it so that way we can show it next episode. Mm-hmm. But uh, I think, yeah, there's a video of him racing his turtle, and his turtle's fucking booking it, dude. Like it's it's whooping ass. Yeah, I want to see it go against the rabbit. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> but if you look past like all the, you know, the fun and glory, what you find out is Usain Bolt's just like beating the shit out of this turtle to run. It's like faster. You must be the fastest. <laughs> just whipping it. <laughs> You won't get lettuce or strawberries until you fucking run faster. The turtles like lettuce and strawberries. He gets him to run by like making him run on coals. That's <laughs> fucking. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying we noticed that the uh, turtle that you're racing's paws are pretty like bandaged up, and he's like, "You don't question me. You don't question the fastest man. I can outrun a fucking airplane. You ever seen a cheetah run away from me?" <laughs> but um yeah so, i ran down the cheetah and i fucked it so uh you heard it here first folks uh stephen hawking soul is inside the body of usain bolt your soul is mine <laughs> Lou! <laughs> <laughs> but uh so that's the easy one first and then we have another easy one what's up uh what would you do to helen keller oh god <laughs> Bro, I I was talking to my buddies uh, earlier today because they were like, "Hey, let's play some Call of Duty." I'm like, "I'm about to go record," <laughs> and they were like, "What are you going to talk about today?" 
because they listen to the podcast. Mm -hmm. And I was like, uh, no, we're just going to talk about like historical and famous people that we can fucking like beat the fuck up. Yeah. Or if they can beat us up, we'll see what's up. And one of our friends is like, Helen Keller. <laughs> and I sent them a gif of Stone Cold doing a stunner. <laughs> and then another one where he like runs down, he's in the guy's face like, you motherfucker, I'll whoop your ass. <laughs> uh, have you heard yeah. the new conspiracy theory behind Helen Keller? That she's faking it? No, he, she's not real. <laughs> She's not real. Yeah, what? they're like, because they're like, a bitch could never, like, <laughs> like that was that's the whole conspiracy. <laughs> a bitch could never learn how to live without fucking being able to like see, speak, or hear. <laughs> what if someone hit her and she could see and hear? Mm, like they knock mean? something in the brain because that happens. Like some people like get hit in the head, they go blind, or yeah. they go deaf because it like in the rattles your brain, fucks it up. What if there was just something there, they hit her in the back of the head, fucking donkey punched the bitch, and then she's like, I can see. Like, mm. They've never tried that. They should have tried that. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> just someone's over there. I had to try. I had to knock her out, see if she came back and could see. That's like, uh, I know the other conspiracy that I heard recently was was even more ridiculous. It was there. Were, somebody had said, not just is Helen Keller not real, but neither is Anne Frank. I was like, what does she have to do with this? Yeah. <laughs> Jews aren't real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the whole like the whole niche race racist group that thinks Anne Frank isn't real. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, they're, they're of course the same people that say, oh, the Holocaust never happened. Yeah, you sure? Are are you positive? Because <laughs> you're gonna look real stupid when they prove you otherwise. My favorite, my favorite Anne Frank joke is that joke about like, hey, do you know Anne Frank's house? Was it actually her house? She was just squatting in it. <laughs> 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 or I remember the fucking uh, Family Guy bit. They're all hiding in the attic, and Peter's up there, and he just starts eating chips. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and they're all like, they're all panicking. <laughs> yeah. Brought to you by Topo Chico this week, guys. Uh, and Bucky's and Coca Cola Zero. I love me a Coke Zero. Yeah. You know what else I love? What? My Toyota 4Runner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I just walked out there to uh, go see it in my Nike slides. <laughs> were you wearing your Adidas tracksuit? Of course. Oh, okay. But were you wearing our. Official Night Funk <laughs> Adidas tracksuit. <laughs> no, 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 I was wearing my Nike Tech. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I and hope it, we get sponsored. It sucks, though, because as I was going out there, I got sweat on my Ray-Ban glasses <laughs> that I had to swap over to my less, like, uh, more inferior pair of glasses. Your vent, your Vipers? <laughs> my Vipers. Yeah. Oh, no. I, I almost sweat on my Rolex, so <laughs> I had to take that off and put it in, you know, my other car, my Mercedes. Now, here's a... <clears throat> here's here's one that I want to add to the historical fight thing because I did okay. list a couple of names here, right? Okay. Do you think you could take on John Wayne? John Wayne? Yeah. He's on my list too. Or he's on the first page of my list. Oh, is he? Um, John Wayne apparently was a pussy. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know what his real name was? What? Marion Robert Morrison. Are you serious? Yeah. Marion? His, his real name was Marion Robert yeah. Morrison. And uh, apparently... Not just was he super fucking racist, uh, which seemed like an obvious thing. Did he uh, dodge the draft or some shit like that? Yes, and then he had said something about, he said something to the effect of like, oh, the only way black people can ever have rights is if they could ever get as smart as white people. Like that, 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 oh. that, That's the actual quote that he said. Because he's like, until they can get anywhere close to being smart as white people, they shouldn't have the same rights. He was a fucking dumbass. So yeah, he was I mean, fucking retarded. Yeah. And then not just that, but uh, people who actually were real cowboys were like, oh yeah, he's a pussy. He barely knew how to ride a horse. Yeah. Like he was just like... This role model of like American badassery, yeah. but he was a fat loser. He was an actor. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, Put that dick in my ass, Pilgrim. <laughs> <laughs> mm. The worst thing ever is if you ever look up the footage of him in that gang, uh, uh, Genghis Khan movie where he plays Genghis Khan. Oh yeah, just fucking like slant eyed and everything. Yeah, but it's the same John Wayne yeah. voice. <laughs> I'm Genghis Kong. I'm taking over China, partner. <laughs> you <But> are. Uh, <laughs> all 
All right, let's move on to a celebrity this time. Okay. I'm actually kind of like, you know, this guy's probably going to whoop our ass from all the movies that he's done. Okay, who? Tom Cruise. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. But at the same time. crazy. He's yep. hanging off the sides of planes for a stunt. Yeah, he wears thongs so he can be more flexible. Yeah. But also, he's a Scientologist. Ew. Got aliens on the side. Ew. <sighs> he's got, no, dude, we have God on our side, okay? <laughs> Fuck him. Okay, well, next person. So, what do you think? You can but, be Tom Cruise? Can you be Tom Cruise? Yes. One on one. Yes, because he's five foot three. Bro, but I'm still, I'm, the only reason I'm saying maybe I will not, strangle his little bro, ass. But I'm saying all the shit that these, like, like action hero, like, movie actors go through. Yeah. Like, some of them actually get fucking in the role. Like, Keanu Reeves. I wouldn't fuck with Keanu Reeves. Oh, definitely not. He's a, he's like a black belt in like, a, I forget, like Taekwondo or Judo or whatever. Yeah, but that's the thing. I don't, I've never heard of Tom Cruise doing any martial arts training. All I know is that he does yeah. his own stunts. So he keeps himself relatively healthy and in great cardio and all that shit. But there's nothing about him that makes me think that, oh, he could definitely strangle me or submit me or, or potentially knock me out. Uh, he doesn't seem like he would be a brawler. I don't, I don't think it's going to be a matter of strength. I think it's just going to be a matter of willpower. Like yeah. this is the type of person that I feel he'll just like be screaming in your face like he did to Oprah. He grabbed her hands and started like pushing her into the couch. Yeah. He's just going to overpower you with his overwhelming I will kill you. And he'll just be <laughs> keep repeating that to you. I'm definitely not gay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to kiss you. What? I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> but um you know what other actor that kind of pissed me? It was the video was hilarious. And uh, I feel bad for the other guy, mm-hmm. but uh, what's his face? Uh, Tom Hardy, because he did a uh, what's it called Brazilian Jiu Jitsu? Yeah, and he was doing it for like I guess a role, but he got really into it. Yeah, and uh, th- he's just he's just fighting in a tournament against other people, like ra- regular people. He won a tournament. I think. Yeah, he, the poor guy, like the other guy, you can see it on his face, like, bro, I don't want to fight you. I like your movies. Like, yeah, you're really cool. My wife's watching. <laughs> Tom Hardy's lived a hard life, dude. He got yeah. addicted to like heroin when he was like a fucking kid. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. Yeah. Like he 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 lived a pretty rough fucking life, and somehow he managed to turn around and still become like a famous actor. You know, I'm worried about him because he's a method actor. Yeah. And uh, he's he just did a movie where he's uh, the leader of the Vandals biker gang from like the mm. 70s. Yeah. Or like 60s or 70s when it like started rising, and. Uh, I mean, I'm assuming that they did heroin and drugs and stuff. Yeah. That would kind of suck if he's like, I get really into the role, I started doing heroin again. Yeah, I think that's why a lot of people nowadays have been like kind of being like, okay, enough with the method acting because it's getting really fucking annoying that they're going to these things. I don't think method acting is necessary. I really don't. For I, I guess for them, it's just kind of like a way for them to... Great actors, people who method act. Yeah. I mean, but they do kind of get lost in the role. Yeah, but it doesn't mean that you can just be a, that you have no, to you method act to be a great yeah. actor. You no, know? I know that. I don't think fucking Meryl Streep fucking method acts. You never know, man. I doubt it. I yeah. really, I honestly doubt it. Yeah. Like, yeah, like, but think about it. Method acting, method, method acting yes. is why Jared Leto is such a fucking asshole is the reason why Heath Ledger died. Mm-hmm. It's uh, It's been the annoyance of a lot of people in Hollywood because you realize, oh, these people are fucking, like, narcissists. Yeah, well, what is it? Uh, Jim Carrey, he's a method actor. Um, and he he did that uh, Andy Kaufman movie, uh, like Something to the Moon or whatever. Yeah. Um, and, the, I mean, the guy, he, he I was watched... a very weird, uh, like, comedian. Yeah. And he never knew when to stop the bit. Yeah. And what was it? Uh, I was talking to my buddy because there was a whole documentary thing about it. There was a whole beef that Andy Kaufman had with a pro wrestler. Yeah. I've seen the documentary. Yeah. And then the pro wrestler in real life, he's like, like, yeah, I was on set, you know, just kind of checking it out. They invited me on. And then uh, Jim Carrey came up to me and I was like, Hey, how you doing? Big fan. And because Jim Carrey is a method actor, he was just being a complete fucking asshole. Because what he didn't mm-hmm. know was that apparently Andy and the pro wrestler, it was just a bit, and they were both in on it. Yeah. Like, the whole, like, back and forth, like, being shitty to each other. Mm-hmm. It was They were both in on it. And the pro wrestler, he was like, I don't understand why people don't know. We both said it's a bit. Like, mm. you know, like, both of us have admitted that this was a bit. There was no beef. We were really good friends. 
Yeah. And Jim Carrey's over here just being a fucking prick. <laughs> yeah. What's, it was, what's interesting is the fact that, like, if you I watch a documentary, and there's a part where Jim Jim Carrey, he's kind of, like, separated himself a little bit, yeah. like, uh, where he is mentally in this, because he's talking about, like, oh, that wasn't method acting. Like, I let Andy Kaufman take over. Yeah, and that's I was, when it gets a little weird. Yeah, but th- I think it's because he is so in tune with, like, this kind of, like, spirituality that he mm-hmm. believes in that he genuinely believes that he channels, like, different energies and, like, people's, like, essences into him, yeah. right? Which, I mean, I mean, I understand it. I mean, he, he, the man played Eggman in, in uh, Sonic and Sonic 2. Like, it, it just makes sense. Yeah. You can't be that great of an actor without Ace being... Ace Ventura. Ace Ventura, dude. Yeah. Um, he talked with his butt. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Speaking of talking about butts, uh, Noah from the Bible. Noah from the Bible. Do you think you can take him? He's got the power of all the animals, man. <laughs> you know, summon them motherfuckers like Voltron, dog. <laughs> what, is he going to put up his arm up a fucking cheetah's ass and that's his hand? Dude. <laughs> <laughs> not, not, not just that, but he can just summon like a swarm of animals at his aid, dog. Only two. Did he a male and a female? That's all he could summon of each animal. Yeah, but uh, of, of two of every goddamn animal out there, dog. <laughs> Not just, it's going to take a while for them to get there. You I feel threatened by any man who is not scared of fucking two lions just chilling out in his boat. Mm. And they don't question the fuck. They don't question at all that he's fucking his own daughter. Yeah. Yeah. Read your all's Bibles, dog. Mm-hmm. I mean, I like the Russell Crowe version of Noah. What the hell's the Russell Crowe one? Have you not seen that? Which one? The They, uh, uh, they made a movie like a couple years back of uh, Noah. Yeah, and it was like a super like weird retelling of the story of Noah, like Russell Crowe and his family. They're all like, you know, oh, we are. They're pretty much just vegan, like fucking like soy boys, and they don't eat like animals because those are God's creatures, and they live off the land. And and God tells them about the thing. He meets. Uh, they kind of go with the Bible. He goes up the mountain, meets. Uh, it starts with an Methuselah. Mm-hmm. Uh, talks to him. He tells him, "Oh, there's going to be a great flood. You better build ready for it." Blah blah blah. Starts building the ark, and then the it's kind of based on the story of Cain and Abel. I forgot which one killed which one. Was it Cain killed Abel or Abel killed Cain? Cain killed Abel. Okay, so uh, the bad guys are the sons of Cain, and they're all like barbaric and like yeah yeah. And then there's the whole, it's, it's literally, it's an action movie. They're fighting. There's fucking golems fighting for them and shit. Uh, pillars of light shoot down and create a force field of fire. And it's fucking ridiculous. Watch it if you can. It's ridiculous. Okay. And then in the end, they get to the, you know, they find land again. Noah starts like just binge drinking. So <laughs> he's all depressed and shit. And, you know, time passes because he has to find the fruits, ferment them. And drink them to get drunk. But then, like, when you see someone, like, one of the family members walking over to him, he has, like, a fucking wall of wine. <laughs> so he took the time to make all this fucking wine just to sit down and get drunk. Well, do you think he yeah. just had a bunch of wine stored up in the fucking ark? Though? Maybe. I don't know. But, you know. I mean, uh, well, the wine could have made preemptively, and he was just fucking hoarding out on it. Yeah, that's true. He's like, if I'm going to be at sea, I might as well get drunk. Make this shit a fucking carnival cruise. All I know is Emma Watson was one of his daughters. That is true. Yeah. I think I think I have seen glimpses of this yeah. movie. I think my mom watches well, every time I go over to my mom's house, they're always watching some fucking bullshit, I swear. Yeah, some like weird like they're Jesus movie. Yeah, something. sometimes yeah. they watch some great some great movies where I'm like, I gotta sit and watch this, right? One time I went over, my mom was watching Sifu, and I was like, What the fuck? Sifu? It's, it's the one of that um it's like a it's like a John Wick character, but he's like in it's like during World War II. Oh yeah, and he's yeah, like yeah. A, he's a gold mining right. Yeah, yeah. And they steal his fucking gold, and he just starts f- fucking on a going on a killing spree and shit. You go back next week. Your mom's watching like the Tony Jaw on Bach movies. <laughs> She's over there doing the fucking moves too. <laughs> uh, your mom's like, I have to go save an elephant now. I got, I got to do something really fun with my mom recently. Did you see? Yeah, uh, I saw the pictures. Yeah. So the story goes that my mom at one point in time, got a Cabbage Patch Kid doll from my grandmother. Oh. And one of our cousins took that doll from her and, like, ripped its hair out, drew all over it. Are you serious? 
Cowboys? Yeah. Who was it? Uh, I'll tell you later. But um, first letter. Huh? First letter. K. K. Yeah. Oh, I know. Yeah. What the fuck? Really? Yeah. yeah, because she was young. She was really young, and my mom was saving the doll because she wanted to give it to. Uh, she wanted to give it to uh, her first daughter. Mm-hmm. It was supposed to go to my to my uh, sister, and um, she never got the opportunity because she kept crying about it, and then she just caved and gave it to her, and then she fucking ruined it, right? And sure enough, we were like, well, you know, we saw this trend going on on TikTok where people were buying their moms the Barbies that came out when they were young that they never got, right? But my mom never really played with Barbies, but we knew this story about the Cabbage Patch Kid. We're like, yeah. what if we just take her to fucking Babyland because we live close to it, right? Yeah. So that's what we did. And uh, she got to pick out what doll she wanted. She picked out the outfit. And, like, at first my mom was like, why the fuck did you bring me to Babyland? Like, it's like, like, I don't want a fucking doll. But as soon as she got in there and saw the doll, it was like seeing a kid. Yeah. Like, it was, it was like seeing a kid live out their dream dude it was awesome like she got to pick out what she wanted and my sister was there and my sister got to pick one out too she made there herself one she got like a smaller one and my mom got like the normal sized ones right it's although i was making fun of my sister because she made her cabbage patch asian <laughs> i was like why did you get an asian cabbage patch and she's like look how adorable it is i'm just like i know but it like it just seems funny yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> And what was even funnier was she, like, found a specific one that I guess a lot of people wanted because an older lady kept following her around being like, where'd you find it? Where did you find it? And the <laughs> fuck, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> Give me the baby. <laughs> Give me the baby. Release the child. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The prophecy. <laughs> I can't believe that fucking Babyland is still around. I remember, I went. Don't get me don't get me wrong. I did some research, and I, it it is it used to be a plantation house. Of course, and, it was. And the original owner did have slaves, and I felt a certain type of way about it. But at the same time, I'm like, hey, I'm a brown guy right now at at a at, at what used to be a plantation house, just chilling with my fucking Hispanic mom and wife and sister, and we're just fucking chilling. No, you were allowed inside because you're lighter skinned than black people. What? Yeah. Uh, I guess that is true. Yeah. Well, there there was black people there. I know. It was a joke. I know. Because, I mean, back in the day, they used to be like, well, light skinned black people could work inside the house. How fucked would up would it be? Like, a black family's trying to go into Babyland, and there's like a giant guy in a cabbage patch suit, be like, uh uh-uh, uh. Like, <laughs> He's wearing a diaper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get out. Mm, no, no, no. I didn't know this either, but my mom told me that she almost worked at Babyland once. What? Apparently, her and our aunt almost got a job there that's a long ass fucking drive yeah but their job was they were supposed to be in the fucking baby suits <laughs> and that's why they backed out of it because they thought they were going to get like a receptionist job or like a or a store like person job in the 90s mm. yeah i guess not come on <laughs> I, you should have known thea <laughs> uh, yeah but either way she got to have it she gave it a name what, what's she called it uh, she named it selena faith yeah, well, she chose Faith first, but they weren't like, well, uh, they're like, we, it has it's supposed to have two names, right? Mm-hmm. And then we were just like, well, what is it? What what is the um? What was the original name that you were gonna name our my sister? Are you serious? She was gonna name her Selena because I have the same last name as the famous Selena, so yeah. she thought it would be like cool, cool to do it. But she backed out of it, and then she ended up naming her something else, right? I, I I'm. I'm pretty but, sure that the um, our aunts, the three of them, uh, your mom and the other aunts, yeah, your sister and their daughters are all named uh, from a TV novella, mm. and it was like an old one from the '90s. All of them were fucking watching it, and I'm sure all the daughters were. Yeah, all three of them. I think so. Actually, that's not wrong. Yeah. I don't think that's wrong at I all. I asked my mom. I was like, what novella are you talking about? I was like, I don't know. You tell me. Shit. You were the one watching it, too. Surprise. Uh, well, I mean, Priscilla was born before it, but, you know. Mm-hmm. I'm surprised you didn't name our, my little sister. What was funny was before my mom chose that uh, the baby doll's, like, name, whatever. Because, yeah. you know, they print it on a receipt. Uh, or, or they give you, like, a little, like, I guess, birth certificate of, like, it's been adopted or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, my mom suggested to name, to name it uh, Catalina. 
And I was like, what's the significance of that name? And she's like, it's like only your grandma would get it. I was like, what the fuck is that name? And I, I'm asking my sister, like, what the, what's the significance be- uh, for Catalina? Is that Catalina is the name of the woman grandfather left her for? Damn. And my mom thought it would be funny to name the What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I was what's like, the baby doll's name? Catalina. She just has a fucking heart attack. Just rips the fucking head off. Her arthritis goes away, just crushes it. And I was like, why would you suggest that? That yeah, is so fuck? fucked up. <laughs> and what's funny is that I bumped into um, my uh, brother and sister-in-law. They came because uh, they heard that we were nearby. So yeah, they yeah. came by too. And they decided to you know take their kids so they could like pick out a, like, a baby doll and all mm-hmm. that shit, right? And then I was out there and... Uh, my brother-in-law, he's having to go through some uh, stuff right now because he's going to have to go to Mexico soon to go to the embassy, right? Because he's a, he's a DACA student. Uh, oh, yeah. Person. He's trying to. Yeah. yeah. So he's going to have to go that go down there and do all that shit, right? It's fucking luck, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hopefully it works out for him. And um, mm-hmm. it's funny because uh, when he got there, he's like, man, these fucking baby dolls get fucking papers and I have to go to fucking Mexico. And <laughs> he I should have made one with his name on it. That's what we said. I was like, bro, go in there and buy one and just be like, his name is, <laughs> just tell him your name. <laughs> and be like, my uh, papers are in order, as you can see. <laughs> pop, pop. <laughs> just hand it to the judge. <laughs> the judge is like, get the fuck back to Mexico. <laughs> it says you were born yesterday at Babyland. <laughs> Goo Goo Gaga. <laughs> <laughs> just throw up on this. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, we were cracking up about that. It was, that was, it was funny. funny as hell. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, moving on. Let's get yeah. back to uh, what we're talking. All right. So uh, Noah, you never answered. Yes or no? Oh, I can fuck it. I can fuck up Noah. Yeah. Fuck him up. Yeah. I'll just throw his ass off the boat. <laughs> Nobody said he could swim. Yeah. And then the world, the problem would be solved. No one would be inbred. I guess that is true. Yeah. Well, to a point. Did did every. Is that, the, is that the story how it goes? Like yeah, everybody everyone came fucking from... died and everyone's from Noah. Ah. Uh, yeah, so we're all brothers and sisters. Was Noah before or after Moses? Before. Before? Yeah, it's Old Testament. Or yeah, it's Moses, Old Testament. It's, it was Noah. Because that was like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's before. It's before. It's before. Yeah, because it, it was Adam and Eve and then their sons and the Cain and Abel. And yeah. then they all started pairing up and fucking each other. And then, uh, you know, Methuselah and all them bullshits. And then Noah and the rest of them. Yeah, but the thing is, yeah. it still wouldn't make sense that they wouldn't be fucking inbred as shit. No, they were. like Unless the first humans were indeed cavemen. And they were just all like ooga booga, like dumb as hell. What? Yeah. Like what if Adam and Eve were just fucking Neanderthals? I mean, it would still be the same thing inbred if they're, you know, the same people. No, because Neanderthals and... probably eventually like evolved into common day humans after they started experimenting with mushrooms. <laughs> okay, it's written in the, it's written there. Man. It's written in the rocks. It's you written. Just gotta read them. All right, uh, the Abraham. rain fell and then God's dicks grew from the ground. Moving on. <laughs> But yes, uh, Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln. He's like six foot something. Uh, he's a he's a wiry guy, but he was a state champion wrestler. Mm, he was also a closeted gay. I'll whoop his ass. What are you talking about? <laughs> Just because he's gay? Yeah. He's gonna come at you and be like, "I'm gonna fuck you after I fuck you up." I'll take my shirt off and he'll be like, Ugh. <laughs> Four scored seven years ago." <laughs> I fucked that ass six weeks from Sunday. I ain't no fucking vampire. He ain't gonna get shit on me. <laughs> All that training, dude. He fucking cut down trees in one swing. Yeah, that was pretty fucking dope. Yeah. I don't give a shit what anybody says. That movie is fucking awesome. It was awesome. cool as shit. That it was so awesome. dumb, but it was cool as shit. Anthony I, Mackie was his, like, helper. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The his, thing, bo- his boy. <laughs> I hate the ending, though. He's like, well, I'm on, I gotta get going or I'm gonna be late for the play. And everybody in the movie is like, don't do it. Yeah. Don't do it, Abe. That fucking cocksucker vampire's gonna shoot you. <laughs> yeah, John Wilkes Booth was a vampire. Wasn't yeah, he? I think so. God, it's ridiculous. But what he didn't realize is when he ran from the theater to the warehouse, he ran into Blade. Just the fuck it. The sprinklers went off and he was fucked. And Ryan Reynolds and uh, Jessica Biel were there too. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, but fucking uh, that movie was great. Um, I I just liked his uh, his axe. 
Because it had like that fucking like head. It had like a silver in. tip, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It was so weird. <laughs> it's like a combo axe from uh, what's it called, uh, Monster Hunter. <laughs> yeah. I didn't the author of that like novel make other novels too. Yeah, he made Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. Yeah. I didn't watch that one because I heard it was like eh, but mm. uh, it's a cool concept. Just Pride and Prejudice. But I thought zombies. he did like another like president like like novel thing, didn't he? I don't know. Yeah, because I thought they, I thought they, I thought he had made one with like Teddy Roosevelt, like fighting like like fucking um, cryptids and shit. I mean, that sounds just about right. He or probably, like he, it, that's a biography. He did do that. Yeah, <laughs> that's another one. Teddy Roosevelt. Now he'd fuck us up. Oh, definitely. Yeah. His he, daughter too, apparently. Oh, his daughter was a motherfucker, dude. Yeah, yeah but apparently, um, he got shot, and he was like, "Ah, oh, I just been shot." I'm going to continue my speech now. Yeah, the, he was honestly a really badass president, uh, except for the fact that I think he was very, like, hateful towards Native Americans. Nope. I don't know about that. I don't want to do the research, but I don't think... I, I heard I that he was a prick to them or something like that. I mean, maybe, I mean he was white, so and it was the time, yeah. Yeah, because... But, of, I mean, he did, uh, what was it, the New Deal. He helped uh, push out... Uh, I forgot what co- what country from uh, the Panama Canal. Uh, Maybe he just like he just didn't care for like people that told him like what to do and shit. I mean, Maybe he didn't the... care about people of color. If, yeah. and if that's right, if, if that's more than likely, I mean, yeah. It's I mean it's the times, sure. Uh, he would hunt like everything, which was fucking ridiculous. Yeah, he used to hunt bears. Yeah, he would go to Africa and hunt lions and shit. Have you heard the story of how he got the name Teddy Roosevelt? What? Because well, he so, killed uh, a bear. Uh, so he got invited to this thing um, where uh, these people knew that he was like a profound hunter and they heard that he used to like hunt bears. So when he got there, they found uh, he came across uh, they had set up this whole thing. I think he went to like a, uh, to another country mm-hmm. to visit. Right. And they were like, oh, he's well known for hunting bears. So let's have a bear prepared for him to hunt. And it was a bear cub that was chained to a tree. And Teddy was a, totally against the idea of just yeah. hunting an animal that's chained up. He thought it was cruel because yeah. he's like, that's not hunting. That's just like killing an innocent animal that's like, yeah. like locked up. So he said, fuck that shit. And he like took the chains off of it and he literally picked up the bear cub and he was like, no, I'm not, do- I'm not killing this bear cub. And everybody was just like, oh, he, he loves animals. And he, and then they just all like started clapping, and then they made he just chokes a dog, and they made him like <laughs> stuff. They made him like yeah. a stuffed bear, and they they and they well, named them yeah, teddy, teddy bears. bears. Yeah. yeah, but uh, I just like how he died. Yeah, because like he did a bunch of shit. You know, he's a badass. He uh, he started the parks programs and everything, mm-hmm. like national forests and everything. And when he died, he died in his sleep. Oh like, shit! Like he lived a life. He wasn't like shot or he died of a heart attack. He just died in his sleep. Oh shit! And. I think it was his vice president uh, dropped the badass line of being like, death had to come to him for him while he was asleep. Damn. Like, couldn't face him while he was awake. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was like, fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> Pretty dope. But yeah. But I would also not be surprised if it was some other shit. He's like, Teddy thought it would be a good idea to put his thumb up a crocodile's ass <laughs> to see what would happen. The first time was fine. The second time didn't work out. Yeah, the first time I kind of liked it. <laughs> All right. I refreshed. Uh, Bob Marley. I don't know why you would want to find him. <laughs> I know, yeah, but if you had to find him, uh, well, I'm not going near him. He's he's got some reach, I think. Bro, just the contact alone would get you high. <laughs> just see, whoa! <laughs> yeah. You right. you just fucking smack him, and you see his dreads fly, and you just get like thirty types of head lice. You're just done. Yeah. All right, let's do some inclusivity on this one. I mean, we did Helen Keller, uh, Beyonce, Beyonce, yeah. I wouldn't fight Beyonce. What? She choke you out with them thighs, dog. That's power. Man, that's not. That's bro. Not she bad. dances every fucking day. Yeah. And then she keeps herself fit. <laughs> She's got some strength. She so, kick you like a fucking mule, dog. Yeah, I mean, you're saying getting choked out by her thighs is a bad thing. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but yeah. I'm saying you're gonna die. You're gonna you're gonna lose that fight. You're gonna die with a smile. Yeah, that is true. Yeah. What that coochie smell like? Let me spit. Let me face you. But it smells like brown sugar. Probably. Yeah. She probably uh, does some like weird like cleansing thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'd fight her. Huh? I'd fight her. Yeah. You did Destiny Child's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you could have carried Kelly to the top. Technically, it was the best decision she ever made. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> I know. I'm just making a fucking joke, dude. Yeah, Come yeah, on. yeah. 
Um, I'm just saying, don't insult the queen, dog. Uh, nah, I don't care. The, the bees will come after you. I mean, she's very talented. Yes, she's yeah. a great singer. Apparently, I just don't find the appeal. Apparently, I understand the appeal more for Beyonce than I do Taylor Swift. Oh, yeah. And she's breaking fucking records. Dude, they're starting, like, she's making earthquakes at the at the... At the amount of noise that she's putting on at her concerts. It's so fucking dumb, dude. I don't I, understand. They said, like, the well, the last concert she had in California, it did, like, a 7.6, like, on the Rector scale or some shit like that. Yeah, it's ridiculous. I don't understand. I don't understand it. I just don't. But you know what? She made it. Good for her. She's the biggest fucking artist in the yeah, world. So, uh, I mean, what is it to get? Other than Daniel Radcliffe. <laughs> Harry Potter. Ah. <sighs> He doesn't seem tough to me. Yeah. I feel like if you take his wand away, he just beat his ass. I mean, he was a weird owl. Yeah. No, actually, have you seen the new, the pictures of him that came out from that show that he's doing? The It's like on HBO or something. Oh, yeah, he's getting kind of jacked now, isn't he? Bro, he was fucking ripped to shreds, dude. That could be wrong. Maybe yeah. he is I fucking mean, now, tough. Yeah, and when he was Harry Potter, my, well, wipe the fucking floor with him. Well, I always got to remember that muscles aren't always means that you're you're a good fighter. That's a thing that a lot of people don't yeah. learn right away. There's a lot of fucking bodybuilders out there like, yeah, I want to see anyone fuck with me. But, dude, you don't have any fighting skill. Yeah, there's been plenty of videos out there where bodybuilders or, or they just get their sh- they get their shit rocked yeah. by actual fighters you yeah. know because you look at a guy who does like who, who's like who does mma they don't have yoked bodies they have yeah. athletic bodies like they're very lean and they're very fast on their feet and they're like they get they fucking will destroy you with that fucking egotistical shit yeah all right uh what was his face denzel washington Denzel Washington? Oh, no. I he, bet he beat the brakes off of us. Oh, he beat the shit out of you. Yeah. Are you crazy? He wouldn't even have to fight us. He'd just talk to us, and we'd be like, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what does it say? I has to like you. Where does it say? <laughs> it's the hand motions that get me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Queen Latifah. Oh, that's the queen, dog. What? That's the queen, Her dog. Too? Yeah. I remember I made a joke the other day at my <laughs> friend's house where I was just like, the only way... The only way a white person could say the N word is they have to get knighted by the queen, and I mean Queen Latifah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh shit, we were just talking about him, Moses. Moses. Yeah. Mm. Knocked the stick out of his hand. And he got no power. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but he can split the sea, dog. Don't be in the fucking water, huh? <laughs> no, I'm just saying. What if he's got some other powers? Like he just fucking like what? what Switch if, your ass. Yeah, I'm just saying. He just flips you around and just opens just, up your asshole. Just does that in your asshole. Just, oh. And he just summons. Frog jumps out. He just summons the birds. And they just go flying up your ass. Locust. I'm just saying. It comes down to it. I think you have to sneak attack him. Huh? Sneak attack. Maybe. Just drop him one hit. Try. You could try. Jesus. Odd wreck him. <laughs> All you gotta do is hold. There's enough. Right. There's no. There's no biblical context of him being like tough. a fighter yeah. or tough. He turned the other cheek. I mean, yeah, yeah. But at the same time, you know, on some fucking, you know, on some gangster shit, wouldn't it be awesome to be like, yeah, I fucked the son. I fucked up the son of God. <laughs> I saw a post the other day, and it was talking about, um, you know, is Jesus? You know, he got crucified and everything. If you didn't know, spoilers. Um, <laughs> there's a book. Read it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> It was talking about this, um, just someone being like, a uh, guy who only knew Jesus Christ as his carpenter comes to his wife. You won't believe it. They they just fucking crucified the guy who built our table. <laughs> 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 but yeah, um, I feel the easy way to do it is just wait for him to get killed on the cross. Yeah. And then they put him into the, the little cave and put the rock in front and just wait there mm-hmm. and then hold the rock in place so he can't get out. <laughs> Now, they've proven that he was real, right? Yeah, some, like, dark Middle Eastern Jewish guy. I thought he was black. I mean, probably. I thought he was black. He's Middle Eastern. It somebody keeps, told, he be black. Somebody told me he was also brown. three feet tall. So <laughs> Little pygmy Jesus. <laughs> Jesus was a black midget. <laughs> <laughs> he was, uh, what's his face? Beetlejuice. <laughs> 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 oh, God. <laughs> uh Kristen Stewart. Uh wait, Kristen Stewart from yeah. like the Twilight series? Yeah. Uh I would I would fight her if she was 
Kristen Stewart from the Twilight series. Yeah. Yeah. Now she's okay. Then she was annoying. Well, yeah. Well, now I feel like she's less in the limelight, right? She doesn't really yeah, do movies she, that much. She did a movie recently. It was really fucking good. It's called yeah. um, uh, Underwater or some shit like that. Mm. And she she's part of a group of scientists that are in like this underwater uh, science facility. And something happens and the facility starts like going haywire, starts flooding. So they have to put on these deep sea suits. And they have to escape to another one across the way, like a little like chasm or whatever. What you don't see going on in the background is all these like eldritch monsters are coming out. And then the fucking what end, the fuck? yeah, and in the end, fucking Cthulhu comes out of the water. What? And she's like facing him, and then she has to like bury him. And it's it's a cool movie. You gotta watch it. Spoiler, sorry everyone. God damn, that's yeah. one hell of a Hallmark movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Confucius. I bet I could whoop his ass. He just talks a lot. He's a, you know, Confucius yeah. say, man who stand high on toilet, high on pot. What? Oh. <laughs> but yeah. Confucius. Uh, Tyler Perry. Confucius say, Wu-Tang ain't nothing to fuck with. Wu-Tang ain't nothing to fuck with. Huh? Tyler Ooh. Perry. I feel like I'm, I can beat his ass as Tyler Perry, but if he's Medea, no. Nah. No, definitely not. <laughs> Yeah, a man who casually dresses up in drag, he's going to be trash. Yeah, for a guy who was, like, very against gays, likes to dress in drag a lot. Is he against gays? He's very, uh, I think, openly Christian and, like, has very Christian views. I know that much, but I'm just like, but, you I can't mean, you can't dress up as a woman and not be, like, a little, a little gay. I mean, I think you can, but there's a point where you're just like, you're a little comfortable, bud. Like you feel right. Don't I'm just you? saying, if you put on a fucking dress, you dressing up in a moo moo and a fucking goddamn like red lipstick and mm-hmm. like a wig and shit, you you kind of gay, dog. Okay, I'm gonna ask you uh, this one. I know we can't beat him. How long do you think you can last against him, The Rock? Like now, The Rock. Ugh. Like it's crazy. He's been like, he's not had a bad year. I feel. Since, like, he got out of WWE. Like, he's always just getting bigger. Yeah, and also he's uh, athletic as hell. Yeah. So, not just easy. I, mm. How long do you think he can last? Not long, dude. Yeah, I'm saying, like, maybe. Like, a couple of minutes. At, no, at best, I'm saying, like, 30 seconds. Maybe, yeah. yeah. Well, the thing is, maybe you can probably make it hard for him. Like, you know, you could try to, like, you could just do some, like, you can do some lame shit, dog. Like, just yeah. fucking try to reach for his nuts or something. Yeah. Just bite him on the dick. Grab his cock. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Grab his cock and twist it. Thumb up the ass. Up the ass. Yeah. But then he'll clench and snap yeah. your finger off. Uh, that is true. Yeah. Did, he, did you ever see that video where he snapped his own finger and he just popped it back in place? Are you serious? Yeah. Or he, he, he had his finger and it was, like, crooked as shit. And he's just like, look what happened. I'm about to go get popped it back. Pop it back in, and get back to filming, and they're just like, "Dude, this guy's a fucking animal." Or what is it? That, uh, it was like back <laughs> in the early two thousands. It was a football player, and uh, he got tackled, and someone stepped on his foot with the cleats. Yeah, and his finger was hanging off by just skin. Oh god, like, it was it was off. So he walked over to the sideline. And he's like, "Hey, he's like, hey, you got to get out of the game so we can take care of that." He goes, put a band aid on it, and went back to fucking play, dude. Oh my god! Ripped off his finger so he can go back to fucking play. That's yeah. this is too much. Yeah, I was like, the I am adrenaline not adrenaline that you're feeling at right now is going to go away in about a minute. And you're just going to be like, down, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, dude. Some people have fucking iron wheels. I mean, have you looked into any of the shit that fucking David Goggins has fucking done? This motherfucker is like run, run like marathons through Death Valley and shit. Mm. And he just comes out of it so unfazed. He ran a fucking like a hundred mile marathon with broken feet. So like, Jesus. Like, and this guy is just, he's just hyper focused on like, I don't fucking stop until I'm done. He just has really bad ADHD and he's just not paying attention. Ugh, <laughs> it's, I don't think it's that. It's just no, a fucking, know, yeah. it's a iron warrior's will dog. Uh, Mel Blanc. The voice of most of the Looney Tunes. Ah, fuck his ass up, dog. <laughs> fuck him Every up. Every single time you hit him, it's a different Looney Tune. <laughs> Suffering suck a chance. <laughs> I taught <tall>, <laughs> <laughs> Um. 
Oprah. Oprah? Yeah. Uh, I'll fuck her up. Yeah. Yeah. And I'll, then after you fuck her up, she'll be like, you want a car? <laughs> yeah, I'll hit her with a car like Drake and Josh did. Oh, uh, yeah. Fucking Josh. Was it Josh? Yeah. Yeah, Josh. He uh, got banned. <laughs> Benjamin Franklin. He's harnessed the power of electricity. Yo, Benjamin Franklin. He's Raiden. He's weird. Yeah. He's just a fucking, like, pervert. Yeah. Did you hear the story about, um, so he had a house in England mm -hmm. or something like that? And he was renting it out or, like, just had someone living in it while he was away. And something happened, and the police went in there to, like, look for something. And they found bodies, like, in the fucking walls and floor. Oh, yeah, because um, the guy who he rented it out to mm -hmm. was, like, an, he, was, uh, he was doing illegal autopsies. Mm -hmm. He was, he, cause he, I guess he was like some kind of fucking like, like, like science nerd. And he was just like, I want to yeah. learn more about anatomy. Yeah. But he like, so he was stealing bodies from a morgue mm -hmm. and he was just fucking like opening them up and trying to figure his shit out. I'm just like, bro, like just get a job at the morgue. Just work at the morgue. Yeah, like, it's not like the time wasn't like, Oh, you have to have like three to five years experience. It's like, Oh, do you know how to cut a straight line? Yeah. Come on. So why does he keep putting these penises in jars? <laughs> Like fucking Jeffrey Dahmer over yeah. here. Um, Mark Twain. I hated those fucking photos, dog. We can see the photos of all the shit that Jimmy, Jeffrey Dahmer did. Like he's got like all those dicks and those dudes' heads yeah. in jars and shit. And then he just has a collection of butt cheeks. Like mm -hmm. why? He, has, he just puts them on. Yeah. He's like, I'm thick today. <laughs> Have you ever seen that fucking uh, clip of that dude where he was just like, when you uh, when you go over to Jeffrey Dahmer's house. And you're like opening up the fridge and he's like, hey man, where do you have the, hey, what's up with these butt cheeks? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, David Copperfield. Uh, you're fighting a magician. You're kind of fucked. Yeah. Well, actually, didn't he die doing his last trick? I heard that the last trick that he ever pulled, that, like an incident happened, he ended up dying. I don't know. Or was it Houdini? I might be thinking of Houdini. Yeah, it was probably Houdini. But yeah, Houdini was a dumbass. Dude, imagine trying to fight Houdini. Houdini? Yeah, you just like you be like you swing at him, and then you're wearing a straight jacket. You're like yeah. what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> and then you just beat the fuck out of you. <laughs> uh, oh, Taylor Swift. I'll uh, fuck her up. She got a long back. Yeah, it's a long back to it's break. A long back. It's a long back. <laughs> when she bends over, you're like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> <laughs> She's shaped like a measuring tape. <laughs> her feet are the bottom. <laughs> you pull on her feet. <laughs> <laughs> the Swifties are going to cancel us now. Uh, fuck them. Yeah. Now nah, fuck her up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're not going to look like a hero in a yeah, clip. In a, like a future clip that we're going to post. Like, Dude, I'd fuck Taylor Swift <laughs> up. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, let's move on then. <laughs> well, what would you, Taylor Swift? Huh? You fuck her up, wouldn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Stephen King. Stephen King? Yeah. Yeah, he's a fucking just like. He's a weird guy. He's a weird dude. Writes a lot about just sex. Yeah. What's weird is he did such a culture shift, if you've noticed. Like, he used to write about some pretty, like, weird shit, right? And yeah. then, of course, he he kind of just ha was had, like, whatever political views. Yeah. But he's been woke as shit lately, but almost to the point that it's kind of annoying, you know? I mean, yeah, people change, but yeah, yeah. but it, but I feel no. What I'm saying is, being woke is not the problem. For me, it's like you're just showing face. You know, mm. you're just you're just like you're trying way too hard to be like I'm pro this. Like I don't think you are. I think you're just fucking talking out your ass. Ooh, bro. You don't want your fucking book sales to go down. Oh, actually, let's go with this. Even one though first. the way you wrote that part in it, where the kids are fucking, that's weird, dog. Yeah, that's a little Why weird. did you write that? Yeah. And he was just like, "Well, I just wanted to fucking be different." I'm like, "Shut up, yeah, that's you a pervert." Weird. Yeah. Um, Steve Jobs. Steve, I beat the fuck out of that dude. He's a dumbass. Yeah, exactly. He, fuck, he thought he could cure fucking. Uh, he thought pancreatitis he or pancreatic cancer with uh, what? Uh, it was like vegetables. It was like fruit juice and shit. Yeah. He's yeah. doing a fruit cleanse for cancer. Yeah. It's I, not going to work, bud. Guys, I found the cure. I found it on this Reddit post. Apparently, you just got to drink cranberry juice, and you're good to go. <laughs> cranberry. you have to buy the new iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the iPhone's probably what gave him cancer. Probably. He fucking had the Model 1, dog. That shit ran on uranium. <laughs> <laughs> just... <laughs> just <laughs> 
Oh, I got signal. <laughs> Finally, email. <laughs> and everyone's like, Steve, we've been doing it on the Blackberry for like three years before you, bud. It's just funny that Apple is still like, oh, we've innovated and we've created this. It's like, yeah, it's been done for three fucking years, dude, by everyone else. Yeah. Because all you did was take away the fucking uh, uh, ox jack. And now everyone's copying you because they saw how much of a money maker that was. Yeah. Well, I saw that the newest models that are coming up, they're finally switching over to USB-C. Oh, really? Yeah, finally. So you don't have to buy the bullshit lightning cable? Well, because they got sued by it. Yeah. They got sued for the whole thing because they were just like, you're just kind of like forcing your customer base to do this shit. They also got another lawsuit for the whole like them throttling phones because of the aging batteries. Yeah. So apparently anyone who's owned an iPhone can actually go to like the that uh, the website over the lawsuit and claim money for it. Nice. I know um I just think it's bullshit that all these phone like manufacturers they're not including uh charging cables anymore. You know what really pisses me off? The only reason I ever got an iPhone to begin with was just because my wife convinced me to get one. And I'm not someone who cares about phones. So I was like, all right, whatever, I'll get one. Mm -hmm. And then her phone is already pretty old. Um, she's been like needing an upgrade for a while. And she's like, yeah, I think I want to get the new Google Pixel. I'm like, what the fuck? You made me switch over to Apple just for you to want to go back? It's like, uh, That's where I got the Google Pixel. Yeah. It's great. It's, a, it's not a bad phone. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the battery life has, you know, knock on fucking wood. I haven't had a problem with it. Yeah. Since I fucking got it. Uh, uh, all right, Johnny Cash. Johnny Cash? No, that's a real motherfucker. Yeah, that's a real fucker. That's a real motherfucker. He'd yeah. fight. He'd fight you yeah, for real. That, that's a toss up, actually, because you can get him. You know, if he's drunk or when he was like on drugs and shit, maybe. Yeah, you ever seen that that photo of him where he's really high and he's eating a birthday cake in a bush? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's but, a motherfucker uh, right there. Now <laughs> he's gonna fuck you up. You know who I think is an actual like uh, sleeper fighter? Who? Adam Sandler. Maybe. I bet he could fucking scrap, bro. You know what artist I think would absolutely beat the living dog shit out of anybody? Who? James Brown. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. He was so cranked up, mm -hmm. dog, and he was so athletic, but also he is a, he's a hood motherfucker, yeah. dude. He probably would have beaten the dog shit out of anybody. <laughs> you know who else could have beat the dog shit out of anyone? But Especially children? Who? Joe Jackson. Oh, shit. <laughs> Joe Jackson. Michael Jackson's daddy. You think, honestly, you know who else? Because he, he's a pretty big motherfucker, too. R. Kelly. Yeah, he's a big guy. He's a big fucking dude. I didn't dude. think he was a big guy until you see him on TV, like actual TV, not in a music video. He's a big motherfucker. Yeah. You know who else would be scared of fucking fight? Who? 50 Cent. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus yeah, because look, Christ. I was I was going to ask this because I know we, we had this topic, right? Yeah. And I wrote down. He's like, would you rather fight? Tupac or 50 Cent? And I said, of course I'm going to fight fucking Tupac over 50 Cent. Actually, I don't know, dude, because Tupac was lanky. No, no. Uh, Tupac was a bitch. Oh, he was? Let me explain. So Tupac had no street credibility other than the fact that his parents were Black Panthers. And he used this to his advantage to get a uh, modeling career. And then after his modeling career was taking off, he got involved in music, became a rapper. But every instance that Tupac ever had with a gun involved him shooting himself or shooting somebody else on accident. The first, the incident that happened when he was going to the studio to go see Biggie Smalls and like when he was like in Brooklyn, right? Yeah. He had basically ran into some Haitian like mob dudes, yeah. right? And then they beat the living dog shit out of him because they were robbing him. And then when he pulled the gun to try to defend himself, he shot himself. <laughs> And then blamed it on Biggie. He said that he got set up by Biggie. And mm. then in another instance. So basically Tupac was Mr. Magoo. Yeah. And then okay. in another instance, uh, Tupac got into this giant altercation where, again, he decides to try to be a badass and pull his gun out. He accidentally misfires it and he shot a child and killed it. Oh. He wow. didn't know how to handle a gun. Yeah. Because he was a fucking moron. And then you look back at all these all these like interviews where he always talked about like, Oh, he's a, he cares about like parents and like 
he he cares about like more about like love and like taking care of your community and like yeah, your legacy should be based more on like your relationships with people. Mm-hmm. All that changed after he started doing movies where he played a movie of a gangster. And then after that movie, he basically became that person he played. Like thug. And everything yeah. I forgot what movie it was, but he, basically the role that he played was like a street young street thug. That was like a fucking gangster. The movie, I think, wasn't it All Eyes on Me or some shit like that? Like what the song was, pretty much. No, that was the that was the um, biopic movie. Oh, uh, okay. That was the biopic movie. No, I'm talking about like because I know he was in Poetic Justice. That yeah. was like the old movie, and then he was in another one. The other one, he literally played like a fucking like weirdo, like maniac gangster guy. Mm-hmm. And okay. he said after that movie is when he started wiling out of control, and then that's basically what ruined it. But he he was a he was a fake motherfucker, dude. Fifty Cent was a real crack dealer, and he would fucking fuck you up. Yeah, he would fuck you up. He got shot nine times. Yeah. and lived. That's part of his getup, man. The bulletproof vest for the longest time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and not just that, but like speaking of bulletproof vest, um. Did you ever see the post that there that was coming out of Ukraine? Uh, so soldiers that were getting shot, mm. uh, and you know, they're they're if they weren't like the bulletproof vest, the plate would save their lives, of course, because it's the fucking steel plate and it stopped the bullet, save their life. Yeah, it still fucking hurt because the bullet like halfway penetrates through it, but mm. hey, you're alive. Uh, there was like a few churches they would take the 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 plates out. Uh, you can't reuse them because they're they're weak. Like after they get shot, they're 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 weak as fuck. Yeah. Um, the churches took them and painted them with, like, uh, those, like, super, like, stained glass, like, murals and shit of, like, Jesus and God with the light rays coming out. Yeah. Dude, they look fucking badass, dude. Mm. Like, I would get one, just put it on the fucking thing, just have, like, I have God on my side. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, look it up when you get a chance tonight. It, it You're like, holy shit, these are fucking cool. Yeah. All right. Um... Brad Pitt. No, he'd fuck you up. Yeah. I Bullet, think he actually, like... Bullet Train was a good movie. I still haven't seen it. Really? Yeah. It's on Netflix. No, I know. I just haven't seen it yet. It's a great movie. Right. He did an awesome job in it, and all the all the people involved in it... Dude. <laughs> dude, fucking... You need to watch that movie because of the other two main characters in it. I forgot. It's like uh, I think it's like some uh, what's it? It's Tangerine and something else. They go. They have like code names in the fucking oh, okay the thing. But their their whole thing, their whole back and forth is fucking awesome. Go watch Bullet Train if you haven't. It's on Netflix. Okay. Um, also, uh, live action One Piece is really good. Okay. Uh, Babe Ruth. Uh no no no. I think it was just like. I just think he was really good at baseball, but other than that, I don't know. Have you heard about the rumor that he's biracial? Oh, really? Yeah, because if you look at him, he's got black features. No. But all the photos black of him, or Dominican because he was really good at baseball. <laughs> you, he, no, the he, uh, the story is that he was biracial because when, if you if you read up on him, a lot of people hated him. Oh, and yeah. you look at his facial features, dude. He's got black features, and but all the photos of him are in black and white. Yeah, but. There's a photo of him when he's older, when when follow when when color photo is like starting to come out and stuff. He's tan. He's tan. Okay. He's tan. He's not white. He's tan. Biracial king, man. And think about it. He's the first ever badass at baseball. He's the first one hitting home runs and shit. Right. He's knocking out shit and he's doing it like like eating ten glizzies at a time. Yeah. God, dude. The what? You, like these baseball players back in the day, they're just like pounding like hot dogs, peanuts. Yeah. Drinking beer, smoking cigarettes. I think cigars. it said that he ate like a steak every day. Yeah. Dude. Jesus. Imagine eating a T-bone steak every fucking day. I mean, delicious. <sighs> it's not good. I know that, but it's fucking delicious. Well, I mean, some people would say they make the differ because, you know, there's there's motherfuckers out there that do that carnivore diet mm-hmm. where they're just eating steaks every day. But apparently, apparently it's not as bad for you. Yeah. As long uh, as you just don't make it super greasy, I guess. Yeah. Uh, Chris Rock. Uh, I plead the fifth on that one. I ain't about <laughs> to try to attack him. He's he will come back and rip your fucking no, career yeah. apart. Yeah, but Will Smith fucked up, dog. Yeah, you don't fuck with a fucking comedian. Yeah, you don't fuck with a comedian, dog. John F. Kennedy. Huh? 
John F. Kennedy. Oh, shit. Just one good hit to the head, his head fucking explodes. Well, apparently he had a really bad back. I know that much. Really? Yeah, because he used to always sit in a rocking chair because apparently he had a really bad... I think he had like a... Sp- uh, a slip disc or whatever. No, I think slip he had disc? like a slip disc or a spina bifida. It's one of those two. Okay, but apparently he was a very like weak, debilitated man, and his drug abuse only made it worse. Okay, and, and him getting shot—that's just unrelated. Yeah, uh, Bill Gates. Oh, I'd fuck. I would wreck that fucking nerd. <laughs> <laughs> fucking nerd. I'd make him sniff my ass. <laughs> Justin Bieber. I'd beat the brakes off that motherfucker. Oh, definitely. Man. Yeah. The only benefit that he probably has is like he money. does. <laughs> it's not just money. It's also the fact that he, um, you know, he's a live performer. So he's probably had like a little bit of cardio and all that. But apparently he, he quit um, performing because he ended up having, um, what the fuck is it called? He kept dealing with like Bell's palsy. Like, oh, really? Yeah, his face kept going like like numb. Oh wow, that must have been the karma from being such a fucking piece of shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah have you heard that. the whole shit about Haley Bieber and shit? Who's Haley Bieber? Is That's... that him? He transitioned? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no Haley Bieber's his wife. His wife, uh, who used to be uh, Haley um, Baldwin. She's a part of like the Baldwin, the Baldwin family, yeah. right? But people have noticed that she has a very odd obsession with Selena Gomez. Mm. It, to the point that she's copied tattoos that she's gotten done. She's copied Instagram posts that she's done. Yeah. She's copied things that she's done. And like, like Selena came out with a cooking show. She did a cooking show. Mm. Selena would do a post in a certain position. She would do a post in a certain position. And then people believe that she was such a hardcore fan of Selena that she only ended up marrying Justin Bieber because, because she thought yeah. he would she would get closer to her. Oh my god. Like people are for like people are almost with a hundred percent certainty are like, dude, she is just a fucking stalker. But she knows that Selena doesn't give a shit about her. So she started talking shit about her and it ended up becoming this whole back and forth between like Selena fans and like um Bieber fans who are defending Haley Bieber because apparently Haley Bieber's also like friends with the Kardashians and the Kardashians have beef with Selena also. Well, what? Because she Selena doesn't try to be like in the limelight. She just is because people love her that much. Okay. And the Kardashians are fucking attention seeking fucking no, succubuses. So they're just like, how dare people look at her? Yeah. Dude, yo, have you seen the shit that Selena Gomez posts on her Instagram? No. Yo, she got some milkers on her dog, and she'd be showing those puppies off, and I'm just, I'm all there for it. Well, let's I'll be showing hold my on. wife. I'm like, look at this shit. Hold on, hold on. Let's, let's see, let's see, let's see. Selena Gomez. Yeah, look at her up on Instagram. She's got one of her in a white shirt. You'll know what I'm talking about when you see it, dog. Selena Gomez. Yep. She's in a white shirt? Yeah, there's one of her in a white shirt, and she's got red lipstick on. Click on that photo. My shirt, red lipstick. Yeah, it's it. She doesn't post very often, but when she does, and she posts some photos like that, that one. Yeah. God damn. Look at that. Look at those fucking things, dog. <laughs> okay, Selena. Now, Gomez. now, 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 scroll down a little bit more, and there's one okay. of her in a black cocktail dress, and she's like taking a sip of her drink, and she's in her. You see the fuck. You see the veins on those. Whoa, titties. Whoa, shit. You see the veins on those titties, dog. Those are real. Those are real tits. No wonder Kim Kardashian's fucking. You know uh, why? Jealous. She's a Latina, dog. Yeah. She's Latina. That's Latina meat right there. <laughs> she's fertile. That's Latina <laughs> meat. Shit. She's my type. <laughs> I mean, I think she's everyone's type now. Selena, hit me up. <laughs> you want to be on the podcast? <laughs> be on the podcast. Let's talk about your tits. <laughs> <laughs> now, what them titties do? <laughs> no, but... Um, I might follow her now, you know? <laughs> Maybe the podcast follows her as well. <laughs> so that way I have access to any new post. You have it on, like, alert whenever there's a new post. You're, what? <laughs> Maybe I am caught up with only murders in the building. <laughs> Um, hold on. Let's see. You can take screenshots later, dog. See no, I'm not taking screenshots. <laughs> I'm trying to look. Uh, oh, Charlie Sheen. Charlie Sheen. No, that's a wild man, dog. Yeah. That's Tiger Blood. <laughs> Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks. Dude, I'd wreck that fucking pedo. 
Yeah. I'd wreck that motherfucking pedo dog. Have you have you seen the conspiracies behind that? Yes, also, I have. what the fuck is up with Chet Hanks? That motherfucker's wild, dog. Chet Hanks? His son. His son Chet Hanks. He like talks in patois for no reason. Why? Because he's fucking retarded. <laughs> he's fucking retarded, dude. He just wakes up in the morning. How racist can I be today? I'm gonna speak a patois. Pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much. He was on um he was on the Eric Andre show, and oh, he was really? just doing Pat Wall for no reason. Because he's he's the thing. He came on the show knowing what the show is about, right? Yeah. So he was like, I'm going to play along with them. And Eric doesn't like it when you do that. So they treated him like an asshole. Are you well, serious? Yeah, it was the funniest shit ever. And then he got super mad about it because he was just like, I thought I was just like, I thought I was in on the fun. And they're like, nah, dude, you don't just go on to like a man's prank show and expect him to. To like just play along with you, especially if he doesn't know you or like you. Yeah, if I, I wish Eric Andre would, it would have been great if he did like a serious interview with him. Yeah, and he just kept on was like, "Dude, what are you doing? I'm trying to interview you. Like, what the fuck?" The thing is, look, I I know I shouldn't fall into the whole conspiracy thing of like Tom Hanks actually being a pedophile. I I hope I hope it's not true, but you never know. And you don't ever want to defend someone who it could potentially be a pedophile. What? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. What? That's what, that's what I'm saying. What? What? I wasn't paying attention, so like this one, I'm like, wait, what? Like, I don't want to believe that Tom Hanks is a pedophile, but I don't want to support someone who could potentially be one, even if it's just a conspiracy. Okay. That's what I said. Okay. Uh, Kanye West. No. You don't think you can take him down? Dude, he, have you, dude, this for videos of him knocking motherfuckers out. He's a, he's a, he's a big boy. Okay. He's a strong motherfucker. He's got big hands. He's from Chirac, dog. All right, cool. He's a big motherfucker. You, you think you could take him? You're wrong. He'd fuck you up, dog. I'll try. I'll try. You could try, but I'm telling you, he's a, dude, yeah. he's, he's a, he's a big, he's got the tism on his side. Our, uh, our current president, Donald Trump. Uh, He's an old fucking man. Of course, you could take him. I would love to fucking. He would be. He would be a harder fight than Biden. Biden's an old crippled man, dude. Yeah, he is. But Donald Trump, you just gotta like hit him in the back or like kind of give him a shove because he's already leaning forward. Yeah, yeah. He just like knock his ass over. He'd be like, "Oh no, I have fallen and I can't get up." I'll let him give him. I'll give him a second to offer me some money before I knock him out again. But yeah, Uh, Jay Z. No. no, yeah, that's a big dude. Yeah. Isn't he like like six something? Like he was he's like pretty six, tall. Uh, he's a tall, angry he's a dude. big motherfucker. Too. He's got some reach on him. Yeah, <laughs> here's the one as you were talking about earlier, Franklin D. Roosevelt. Oh, FDR. Yeah, yeah damn. I would make it a fair match. Remember that TikTok that we saw the 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 boxers fighting and they're in wheelchairs and yeah. that kid's yelling, "Mitchell on a pata." <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. FDR's a tough one. I want to say no. I feel like he's... I'd do a fair fight with him. I'd sit in the wheelchair yeah. and, like, duke it out. There's some presidents I know for a fact that would just beat your fucking ass. Mm-hmm. Like, um, what's, what's the one What's the one that was from Texas? Uh, Bush? No. No. Uh, the, the, the older one. He was, like, the one that used to always talk about his dick. Uh, Truman. Truman. No, no not Truman? Uh, I, no, yeah, Truman. Is it Truman? Truman... Yeah, it's Truman. He had the he had the car that was a boat, and he would freak people out by driving it to the fucking lake. I think so. I, mean, I could yeah. be wrong. Uh, yeah, whatever. Um, we no, did. Lyndon B. Johnson. That motherfucker. Yeah. That motherfucker had a big old dick on him. Yeah. Uh, he, he used to always show people his dick. Yeah, he also uh, did uh, dress up in ladies' underwear. Well, Lyndon B. Johnson? Yeah. Damn. Yeah, there's pictures of it. Wow, I didn't yeah. know that. Uh, King Arthur. Is King Arthur real? There's an actual King Arthur, but it's not like, you know, magical or shit like that. But I mean, I don't know. What was King Arthur like? Because the thing is, the kings can either be one or two things. Either they could be fictionally like a like a war badass or or more accurately, just some inbred asshole. I'm pretty sure he's just an inbred asshole. He just all snaggle tooth fucked yeah. up and shit. Yeah. But then I guess you could just beat his ass unless he was trained in weaponry. Yeah, I mean they all were, yeah. But, yeah, so that would probably but be. It would be, be. He has to be. He's trained in weaponry, but does he want to fight? Yeah, like he doesn't have. He needs the drive. I don't know what the fuck I would have to. Do. What would you do in that situation, dog? Like you're in a situation where you're like, hey, you have to fight for your life. You're about to get thrown in this coliseum with an actual like you're gonna fight against a trained knight. 
And like, like what what is your best approach on this? Distance. Distance. So yeah. what? Go for like halibird and just try to like yeah, just jab at them. Yeah, but even then, they could probably still like you know. Yeah, fuck you up. You fuck your footing up. I mean, um, are they wearing armor? Or is it like straight Coliseum fight, like Roman times? Like, you're in there, like, in a fucking diaper. Yeah, unless it's one of those, like, you both get the same weapon. Like, you both just have sword and shield, and you, oh, you're, getting fucked up, you're out there shirtless. Your dick's hanging out. We who are about to die salute you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, ben Stiller. He's short, but I think he can fight. He's a tough dude. Yeah. He's pretty built. Yeah. I mean, he's pretty, he was pretty yoked during uh, Tropic Thunder mm-hmm. and then Zoolander. He was pretty. Yeah, like, I think, I'm pretty sure he could fight. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Harrison Ford in his prime. Oh, he fuck you up, yeah. dog. He's. I think he still fuck you up. <laughs> yeah. He's he's a, he's fucking survived like three airplane crashes. <laughs> yeah, that's so fucking weird, dude. Like, I was looking earlier. I was like, uh, we were going through like a list of like old like, uh, like uh, like uh, singers from back in the day. Yeah. And a lot of singers died in fucking plane crashes. Oh yeah, it's crazy. Like, uh, and it was all it's it's because they all fly in like those like prop planes, and those things are fucking death traps. Yeah, it was like um, it was like um, Buddy Holly and uh, Richard, what's his name, yeah. the Bamba dude. Yeah, and then fucking Jenny Rivera died in a fucking plane crash. Yeah, uh, um, Leonard Skinner, half of Leonard Skinner died in a, mm-hmm. in a plane crash. Uh. Uh, uh, the two guys from Little Nicky, uh, what? They, yeah. After you know they save Little Nicky and you know hell goes back to hell, they they buy the uh, Leonard Skinner's airplane full of full of drugs and booze, and but forget to buy a pilot. I was talking about real people. <laughs> They're <laughs> real people. <laughs> not the actual. I thought the, I thought you meant like the actual actors. I was about to say the the uh, Randy Rhodes died in a plane crash too. Yeah, from uh, Ozzy Osbourne. Yeah. Um, but yeah, a lot of fucking people died in plane crashes. It was crazy. Yeah. Conspiracy. Or maybe they're just drunk assholes that they thought they could just fly. No, they didn't fly. Like, their pilots crashed. They had pilots. Yeah, well, their pilots are probably on coke, too. Uh, yeah, probably. Uh, we already talked about Stephen Hawking. Uh, Wolfgang Puck would probably kill us. He's got knives. Ryan Reynolds. Did we talk about Ryan Reynolds? Mm, no, but he'd probably fuck us up. Yeah. He's fit and he's talented, and he's, he's also Deadpool. he's Deadpool dog. Yeah. Um, and Frank. <laughs> You're asking me whether or not I would fight and beat Anne Frank. You gotta answer it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you wouldn't have to. <laughs> Uh, the last uh, page we were officially canceled. Her, the last page <laughs> in her diary is me leaving a note. It's like Anne's a little busy right now. <laughs> She's got her ass whooped. <laughs> She's too busy picking herself off the fucking ground. Um, you suck so bad. You know what? I'm gonna fucking out you. Hey, they're in here. <laughs> hey, I'm here. Uh, Leo. Leo? Uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. Uh, oh, I'd fucking wreck him. You sure? Dude, he's got, he's a, he's a, he's kind of fat. He's kind of like, not. It depends on the role, bro. When's the last time he's been in a role where he was actually fit? Think about it. Uh, not fit, but ready to fuck people up. The Revenant. No, he was still like, he was still dad bod in that shit, dog. Mm. He's never been fit. I don't know. I think I'm pretty look sure. Up, look up, look up, look up photos of Leo, Leonardo to. DiCaprio shirtless. You'll never find one of him being yoked. Uh, it's fine. He's never been Brad Pitt. We just said a while ago, you don't have to be yoked to fuck people up. Yeah, but he's definitely not a fighter. He's never played a fighter role. It When's he's mean, ever played a fighter role? I feel he could fuck Catch him. me if you can. Tom Hanks would have fucked him in the ass. <laughs> um, Does he look like a little boy? <laughs> All right. Meryl Streep. Huh? Meryl Streep. Yo, Meryl Streep got some titties on her. Yeah, she does. <laughs> um, she probably, like, acts so good that you lose. Yeah. Yeah. Meryl Streep is the kind of old lady that you assume she got good pussy, you know? She just uh, looked like she got it. Barbara Streisand. Barbara Streisand? She hit you with her nose. Huh? She hit you That's with racist, her nose. That's racist, dog. You went straight for the fucking <laughs> Jew joke. Racist. You went straight to the Jew joke, no. dog. You can't just be saying that. She's got a big nose. Okay. It's not about being Jewish. You can't float on her nose. back because you'll think it's a shark. <laughs> 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 uh, 
Now that's racist. Now that's racist. <laughs> um, now that's racist. 2005. <laughs> <laughs> we just made a Yentl reference. Uh, Katy Perry. Katy Perry? Yeah. Uh, no. She's actually kind of lost a little bit. You know mm-hmm. what's crazy? She got, like, she got really skinny for a yeah. while. Like She used to be like, like she, filled up. She was... She was great. I liked I liked how she used to be. She used yeah. to have some big old thighs on her, mm-hmm. dog, but she had like a little ways and some big old titties on her. Mm-hmm. And then she went through that really bad divorce with Russell Brand, and she got a little crazy. Yeah, she's a little nuts. She got a little nutty. Ooh, Britney Spears. I bet she like she's going straight for the eyes. She yeah. got that umbrella. I know, but I kind of just feel bad for her. I kind of wish I. <sighs> yeah. I just I, I'd leave her alone, dog. I would leave I wanna... Britney alone. Leave her alone. <laughs> Uh, uh, another. How long do you think you can last, Bruce Lee? Three seconds tops. <laughs> that motherfucker's gonna hit you forty times before you even <clears throat> like yeah. have time to react. Yeah, the best thing you could do is try to give him a Tylenol. <laughs> <laughs> and what? Give his son a loaded prop gun. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. That's fucked up. I gotta apologize to the Asian community for that joke. All right. Uh, ooh, this would be a weird fight. Like, I feel like you just like. Well, it wasn't it? Wasn't fucking Tylenol? It was no, like, yeah, he I had an allergic reaction to Tylenol. Or I thought it was an aspirin. No, it was like a Tylenol type Damn. thing. Yeah. No. Oh. Um, Hunter S. Thompson. That's a crazy motherfucker, dude. Yeah, like I feel like he would like throw like fucking ketamine in your face. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he. He didn't he used to always like shoot his gun at his neighbors. Yeah, because his neighbors were shooting at him. Yeah, and he's like motherfucker. And then he went out on his own accord because he was just like he because uh, yeah, the story he blew his brains out and everything. Yeah, because he wrote down his like I woke up and I'm too old and I'm, mm-hmm. I'm I feel like shit all the time and then I'm like I'm my life's going nowhere and so he's like fuck it. Yeah, I which mean, is pretty fucked up. Apparently, yeah. apparently Johnny Depp was like really good friends with him before he passed. Yeah. I mean, he did the movies. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, Johnny Depp fulfilled his last wish, and he blew his um, ashes out of a cannon, mm-hmm. which I thought was pretty cool. Ooh, Eminem. Huh? Eminem. Nah, that's a crazy white man. Yeah. That's a crazy white man, dog. He got discovered in Detroit because he used to rap with a fucking, like, um, uh, what's it called? Like a hockey mask and a laundromats. Oh, really? Yeah. It's a crazy motherfucker, dude. Uh, Freddie Mercury. <laughs> Freddie Mercury was always looking for smoke. If you never saw, mm-hmm. if you never saw, he used to. He tried to fight Axl Rose. Yeah, he was like, "Fight me, pussy." Yeah, <laughs> just like, <laughs> and Axl, I'm not scared of you, bud. My mustache will beat your ass. Yeah, Axl Rose was fucking like a hot head motherfucker, yeah. dude. And for Freddie Mercury to just be like, "Dude," Freddie Mercury was like, "Come on, darling, fight me." And Axl Rose is like, "You know what you want." <laughs> <laughs> Um, do, 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 Robin Williams. I give him a hug. I'd let him fight me. And like, let him beat me. I can't ever think about being mean to Robin. Yeah. That's what I said. I give him a hug and let him just beat me. I, I almost, I almost instantly tear up when I hear his name. That's how much that man meant to me. It would be the funniest ass whooping you ever received though. Yeah. So he'll just be doing characters the entire time. Yeah. And she'd be like, oh, no, you're getting fucking beat up. <laughs> <laughs> You'd feel good after that ass whooping. Like he's whooping your ass as his character from Birdcage. <laughs> <laughs> that would be hilarious. And then fucking, uh, what's his face comes out too? Uh, 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 I always forget his fucking name. Was it? Um, uh, hold on. I'll, I'll look it up. I, he's such a great actor. Nathan Lane. Nathan Lane. Nathan Lane. Yeah, that guy. Oh, I love him, dude. And the producers. Mm-hmm. Have you seen that movie? No, I actually haven't. You need to watch it. It's fucking fantastic, dude. I need to watch all of Birdcage. I've only seen like a portion of what? it. What? Yeah, it's because like there's some there's some films that I've never gotten all the way through because I mean they're just uh, they're just ones that kind of miss the radar. Because I mean, of course, who hasn't seen Mrs. Doubtfire? Yeah, and who hasn't seen like Flubber and all Jumanji. the uh, Jumanji and um, she had not at the museum mm-hmm. like. Uh, he like, dropped some hard, like, good lines in the last night in the museum. 
Like mm-hmm. when he like Ben Stiller's found like you know like this is it and everything. Yeah, I remember we watched God, that. Dude. We watched that movie recently because we just got bored one night and we were just having like oh let's watch like a like a nostalgia movie night right mm-hmm. and we were because uh, we have Disney Plus right and we ended up watching that and he does that like, killer line at the end and stuff and we me and my wife were just tearing up <laughs> like fucking Robin yeah God fucking damn uh, it uh, Dead Poet Society. Uh, oh, even dead. that one movie, uh, Jack, when he plays the kid that grows really fast. Yeah, yeah, that one's a good movie too. He was like the best part about Goodwill Hunting. Yeah, um, unlike the whole scene of him <laughs> making uh, what's his face laugh, uh, <laughs> Matt Damon. Have you ever heard that uh, Louis C.K. bit uh, where he talks about um, Goodwill Hunting, where he's talking about like um, how ridiculous the premise of it? Because uh, the more you think about it, the whole movie was written by Ben Affleck. Okay. Yeah, and it's just like it, Ben Affleck's writing his own character. He's just like this guy's a rough uh, fighter, but he's also a genius. You know, like he's just kissing his own ass, right? And he talks about that scene where he's just like, uh, where he gets like this girl's number, right? Mm-hmm. And he's like, he's like taunting this dude, where he's just like, "Hey, dude, you like apples?" And the guy goes. Yeah, I like apples. And he's like, well, how do you like these apples, yeah. right? He's like, that whole scene doesn't make sense because he obviously like was setting up mm-hmm. the joke. All that guy had to be, all that guy had to do was like, no, and he just ruins his whole joke. Yeah. <laughs> but Ben Affleck wrote the movie, mm-hmm. so of course he the because it, it's just funny the premise of this guy being like, hey, do you like apples? Yeah. And the guy's like, fuck, I do. Yeah. I, do, I do like apples. They're delicious. <laughs> and I don't want to lie. <laughs> I like Fuji. <laughs> Honey Crisp. Yeah. Uh, Shout Albert, out Louis C.K. Uh, Albert Einstein. Huh? Uh, he'll like atomic punch you, I feel. Atomic punch? Yeah, he'll like E equals MC square. <laughs> He's like an anime character. Yeah. Yeah. No. Nah. nah. Hmm. Oh, I heard he's kind of retarded. He was weird. He was very abusive to his wife, apparently. His wife was his cousin. Yeah. But, and then he couldn't, I mean, there was a rumor that he couldn't tie his shoes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He could tie his shoes, but he was just like very weird. I think he was just one of those guys that was like a genius, but he was also like just fucking kind of quirky. Yeah. Yeah. You know? uh, Toby Keith. Toby Keith. Yeah. He's a country singer. I have no idea. Yeah. We'll fuck him up. Yeah. Uh, Jay Leno. <laughs> Jay Leno? You have to punch anywhere but his jaw because you'll. Fucking break every bone in your hand. Yeah. Yeah. Hit him in the forehead. It's like they, because they say like the hardest part of your skull is your forehead because it protects your brain. But I feel like for him, it's his chin. Who is Jay Leno? Like, who is his like demographic? Is it just old white folk? Oh, he was the late night show guy. Yeah, I know. Yeah, but for the longest time. yeah, but who the fuck used to watch that shit? Everyone apparently. Not me. I used to watch Conan. Oh my god. Okay. I love Conan. Coco. Yeah, Coco, baby. Uh, just for fun again, Taylor Swift. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just fun again. Would you, would you fight her a second time? Yes. <laughs> I'll kick her while she's down. Um, this one's weird. It says the People's Republic of China. What <laughs> the kidding. fuck? <laughs> Tiananmen Square. <laughs> would you fight all of China? Yes. Uh, Amelia Earhart. Huh? Amelia Earhart. Yeah. <laughs> I'd clip the fucking wing on her plane. <laughs> she get eaten by crabs. Oh, my God. I think it's crazy that people, they're finally, like, kind of realizing, like, oh, no, I th- we think we found her crash site, mm-hmm. and her bones were picked clean from fucking crabs. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, God, that's going to be a shitty way to die, dude. Like, she probably crashed, broke her, like, neck or back or something to where she couldn't move and just laying on the fucking rocks. Yeah. And crabs were just slowly eating her. Yeah. God. Yeah, who would have thought one that would happen just because you let a woman fly? <laughs> Keep your women in your kitchens. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, uh, Nicholas Cage. Nicholas Cage. Yeah. He. I feel <sighs> he'd be a really unhinged person to fight. Yeah. Yeah. He's been in one too many fucking movies, dog. Yeah. He, he's unhinged as it is. You know why he does so many movies? Wasn't he like in a lot of debt? Yeah, because he's terrible with money, apparently. Like, it's that's why there was like years of. Like, if you look back, there's years where he's like in like fucking 10 movies that year. 
mm-hmm. is because he says pretty much yes to every script that falls to him because he's like, I need the fucking money. Damn. And yeah. I think it's just crazy. Yeah, like, I think the one of them, I remember one time my my mom was watching this movie. I think it was called like The Witch or some shit like that. Or it was called like something something to do with he was like hunting a fucking witch. Uh, the Oh, was it like made evilly? Oh, times? Season of the Witch. Yeah, and it's like made evilly. Yeah, like yeah. And I, I didn't was, watch it cuz I was like this looks fucking It stupid. was terrible, dude, but I was just like <sighs> <laughs> of course, my mom just found yeah. it. She's like, "Oh, Nicolas Cage!" <laughs> oh god, I still love every now and then just making Hannah watch uh, Con Air. Yeah. yeah, I love that movie too. It's so <laughs> stupid. We recently uh, rewatched the National Treasure movies because mm. we thought it would be funny. Um, and actually, not that bad. Oh, what is the other? All the other movies, uh, Gone in sixty seconds. Yeah, it's such a dumb movie. Like. Why? He does have some good movies, though. Yeah. Um, he was really good in that kick-ass movie. Where he yeah, played, he, good. he played, like, the fucking, like, I guess, like, the dorky... Um, the dad. Vigilante dad, yeah. yeah. Um, what and was then, another good movie that he had? Mandy. Mandy? Yeah. I'm trying to think. It's that one where he doesn't talk, but everything's, like, super cinematic, and he's, like, red, and he's, like... He's like, uh, I think he's has, I think he's like trying to fucking. Um, what the, it came out a couple of years ago. Oh, I haven't seen that one. He's like, it's a, like the picture is him in the car and he's covered in fucking red or some shit. Yeah, like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I haven't seen that one. Yeah, he doesn't talk in it, so it's really good. The other one that I heard was really good that he did was that movie Pig. Yeah, it's yeah. supposed to be like John Wick esque almost. Yeah, he's like a like a famous chef that like went into like living like fucking solitude and he has like a truffle pig. And they fucking kill it. Or, like, someone steals it because they want the truffles. And then they end up killing him. And mm-hmm. then he's just, like, on a fucking war path to, like, find whoever did it. It's yeah. just John Wick. Yeah, like you said, John Wick with a pig. Yeah. Um, which, cool. Whatever. Um, did you watch that movie, uh, Miss uh, Nobody? With uh, What's-His-Face from uh, Better Call Saul? No. Yeah. It's, it's really fucking good. You I, know, I enjoyed the fuck out of it, dude. You know, it's funny. Uh, mentioning John Wick. Because, like, you know how, like, Keanu does, like, an insane amount of, like, training and shit yeah. to be able to, like, you know, be able to reload. Because that's him in real time no, reloading yeah, I, his guns. I've seen the videos. So there's a thing that he does sometimes when he reloads where whenever he hits the the, the thing to get the clip out, he'll he'll jerk the gun like that to make it fly out faster, yeah. right? And then he um, gets the other clip and like uh, or the other magazine and he loads it up yeah. quickly, right? Apparently, that's all him. That wasn't a technique before Keanu. He popularized it through the John Wick series. The flick? Yeah, that's been a thing, dude. What no, I, I, no, apparently not because uh, uh, they were talking with the uh, Joe Rogan was talking with the guy that do, that did the training camp for okay. him. I guess for the handgun, yeah. But yeah. I know for uh, like uh, rifles, mm-hmm. uh, military and some police precincts look watch the movie. Um, uh, what's that one movie with Val Kilmer where he's a bank robber? Yeah. It's an older movie, like, in the 90s. And the way he does, like, a little, like, tactical reload of his rifle, like, while he's trying to get away from the police, mm-hmm. um, everyone that watched, all these, like, people that watched these military people, they're all like, that's what you need to do. That is the most efficient, coolest fucking way you can reload your weapon on the field, on the fly. Mm-hmm. Like, the way he does, it's so fucking clean how he does it. He's just at it. Mm-hmm. And it's just like, it's, I think it's crazy. Like these actors get taught by these, like you know, ex, uh, like, like uh, military folk to like run the drills and everything. Yeah. And then they start adding a little flair to it to make it look a little bit more cinematic, and it ends up being like something that's, you know, oh, holy shit! Why haven't we thought of this? It's yeah. Crazy. But um, I just like watching all those videos, like the um, the VFX guys on YouTube, mm-hmm. like, talking about like all the stunts and everything from John Wick. And like how like the the stunt driver for the uh, car, yeah, how he like goes from a jump to a drift immediately, mm. and the guy's like, I don't know how he fucking did this. It's fucking ridiculous. Like I've never been a huge like car guy, but if there was one movie where I was like genuinely like enthralled with like the with the car stunts in it, mm-hmm. it was Baby Driver. That movie was so. I haven't f- seen it. I heard it was really good, dude. That movie is so good. Yeah, it is so fucking good. I I like the little and it's got things. one of the best soundtracks too. Yeah, I like the little things that they do for movies like that. Uh, so they say like if you're watching it like in a movie theater or surround sound, mm-hmm. whatever ear he has an earbud in, 
the music's coming from that direction. Oh. So it adds that sense to it too. So you'll hear people talking on this side, but on this side is music. Yeah. It's muffled people. And yeah, it's, it's cool. I was like, that's a, the attention to detail like that, where it's little subtle things mm-hmm. makes a movie like fucking great. Oh, have you ever, did you ever uh, watch the clip where they talk about um, figuring out the ending to no country for old men? No. Because, you know, at the end, people were confused whether or not he killed the girl. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That movie, that ending was so fucking like, what? Yeah. It, wasn't, it ended with what? Uh, with what is his face? He, get, he, get, he gets the, uh, the dude gets into the car accident, whatever, and then yeah. he's like, he, just, he, get, he gets away with it. Yeah. Yeah. But then, to uh, answer the question, yes. He killed her? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because... Uh, I didn't know this, but the Coen brothers are so meticulous with like detail. Mm-hmm. And there's one detail that you notice that uh, uh, is that he was always very careful about not getting blood on his shoes mm. throughout the whole movie. Like, there's a part where like you know he he kills the dude in like the um, in the what's it Woody Harrelson's character. Yeah. And then blood's pouring on the ground. He gets close to his boots. He puts his boots away. When he's in the hotel. With the fucking tank thing, he's not wearing his boots. Mm-hmm. He's in his socks. At the final scene, after he tells her the whole thing, you know, he he's doing his whole like I'm death incarnate kind of yeah. thing, right? Over, and he's like telling her about the whole chance thing. When he leaves, the last thing he does before he gets off the stoop is he checks his boots for blood, implying he killed her. Wow, I need to watch the movie again. Yeah. But um, all those details are like super, like yeah. Because what is it? Uh, what's his face? His character? You know that uh, motherfucker played Poseidon in the Little Mermaid movie. <laughs> okay. Because Denise was watching it last night. I was like, "What the? F- that's the dude from the Country and Old Men." And he's yeah. like, "Yeah, yeah, he plays Poseidon." And I was like, "That's so fucking random." Yeah. But she's black. <laughs> <laughs> but um, no. Ariel, call it. <laughs> call it. <laughs> I still love that one joke. He's like promiscuous daughter uh, or homosexual son. Yeah. <laughs> Call it. Or have you seen, uh, it was during COVID. Uh, what's his face? Uh, Paul Blart. What's his name? Oh, what, what's, what's his fucking name? Yeah. Um, anyways, Paul Blart. Uh, <laughs> I forgot his name. Um, he has a, I actually enjoy one movie that he did. It's called like a uh, never back down or some shit like that. Yeah. And he's like a, he's a teacher who starts to fucking UFC. Kevin to, Smith. Yeah, Kevin Smith. Is it Kevin Smith? No. no. It's, it's, it's Kevin, Kevin something. Whatever. Yeah. Paul Blart. Uh, <laughs> Kevin Paul Blart. <laughs> um, Kevin James. That's what it is. Kevin yeah. James. Yeah. He, um, he's a science teacher. Or no, he's a music teacher. No, he's a science teacher. And he's trying to help the music teacher who's played by, uh, uh, what's his fucking name? Really nice guy. He's in the Adam Sandler movies. He's, uh, uh, Winkler. Mm-hmm. Uh, he was the Fonz. Yeah. Yeah. He's super, apparently like the nicest fucking person you'll ever meet. Apparently. Yeah. Um, he's a music teacher and he's trying to help him like get money so they can keep the programs open and everything. And he keeps like thinking like, what should I do? Blah, blah, blah. He's doing like a little side hustle. And then one of the people he teaches English to like, uh, immigrants. Yeah. And one of the immigrants is uh, a UFC guy. And it's like a famous UFC guy who plays him. And he's like, hey, uh, I know a quick way you can make, like, you know, 500 bucks a night. He's like, sure, what is it? He's like, yeah, you just do some underground UFC fights. I mean, if you lose, you still get paid. He's like, okay, I, I can take a few hits. And uh, it's just like a whole, like, of course, gag reel, pretty much. Of yeah. Being his ass, well, doing stupid shit. But then he starts seeing that, oh, the money's coming in. And they're like, oh, well, we're going to shut down the program. So he's like, okay, I have to do something big. And because he gets, like, sort of internet famous. Yeah. Uh, he gets challenged by like a like a pro UFC fighter, <clears throat> and they tell him like if you lose, you know you're gonna get you know you know twenty five thousand dollars and it'll be enough to cover and blah blah blah. And then he starts thinking, "Is like, but if I fucking win, you know that's a fuck ton of money that could help out a lot of people." Yeah, and so he starts training, dude. And uh, Kevin James got pretty fucking like beefy for this movie. Like, you see him, like, in the beginning of the movie, he's, like, fat and shit, you know? You can see he's already kind of worked out, but they make him look dumpy and shit, like mm. how he usually looks. But at the end of the movie, when he's, like, in the cage about to fucking do, the fight, like, the last fight, like, dude, his fucking neck's up to here. He's, like, fucking, like, 
you see the muscles popping under that fat. Yeah. So this is the part yeah. that I wanted to chime in on. So I didn't know this until I heard it because you know I I watch yeah. Rogan a lot from time to time. But I remember one time he was talking about how he came up in the comedy scene in Boston with mm-hmm. Kevin James. They used to like uh, do club circuits together, oh, right? Really? Yeah, because they used to, you know a bunch of different comics came out of Boston, you know, yeah. and they used to you know perform at the same clubs and stuff, right? Mm-hmm. But he knew Kevin, and at the time, uh, Kevin James practiced martial arts. And also, oh, he was a part-time bouncer, and he said one time he worked with him at a at a gig bouncing, and he saw Kevin James beat the living dog shit out of people, <laughs> like there he, to the point where he had to be like, Kevin, you need to calm down. <laughs> it, it, apparently, Kevin is a motherfucker, dude. Yeah. Like before he got famous, he was a straight up Boston like, like killer, bouncer, yeah. martial artist. Yeah, he would have fucked you up if you like gave him like the wrong kind of look. All right, and how long do you think it lasts against him? Not a second. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird. Like you think of like he's like a goofy, funny guy. He's yeah. fucking Paul Blart. Yeah, he what the fuck out of you though? Yeah, exactly. Because I mean, I think for him, it's like he. He got his opportunity mm-hmm. to make his money, and he got that money, you yeah. know. And he, he he's a uh, he's obviously a good comedian for him to like have a long lasting show on TV and make all these movies. I yeah. mean, it worked out for him. He didn't have to be a fucking like bouncer anymore. So why wouldn't you just drop the tough guy act? Yeah. <laughs> all right, I got one more, okay. and that's it. What? <laughs> what is it? Martin Luther King Jr. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! He was a he was a big turn the other cheek guy, but uh, I mean he probably had he was that. a pastor. Yeah, he probably had that dog in him though. Oh, I know he did because he cheated on his wife. <laughs> <laughs> but um, <laughs> they had fucking uh, they had uh, they had apparently they, they, that was the one thing they used to dig up dirt. Apparently that the, they just cheated on his wife. No, they said the CIA had a video of him fucking white bitches. He like yeah. white bitches. Yeah, yeah, apparently. But I was just like, I don't know if that's true or not. Yeah. I just think that's fucking bullshit. <laughs> they just <laughs> the CIA just dress some other black guy up as Martin Luther King Jr. <laughs> <laughs> fucking a white chick. Uh, I love white women. I am Martin Luther King Jr. <laughs> I have a dream that you'll suck on these balls. <laughs> okay. We'll make dark white children <laughs> <laughs> that milk chocolate. <laughs> Okay, we're ending it at that <laughs> shit. The cookies and cream. I'm not trying to get canceled anymore. <laughs> but yeah. We could possibly get canceled. <laughs> uh, Malcolm X Jr. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, anyways, thanks again for listening to another episode of The Night Funk. Uh, stay tuned for uh, more episodes in the future every Friday on Spotify, on Apple Podcasts, and... Um, also now on YouTube. Yeah. Go follow us at Instagram at the Night Funk Podcast. You can follow follow us also on our personals at Handful of Pedro. And also in the woods. And uh, you can also find us now on YouTube. The YouTube will be updated regularly every week. Yeah. Sometimes I'll drop a new video, two new videos. Just be on the lookout for that. But also you can catch our reels on our Instagram and also on our TikTok at the Night Funk Podcast as well. So, you know, be on the lookout for all that stuff. And, um, yeah, thanks again for listening, guys. Yeah. Thank you for all the support. For any, People have been sticking around um, listening to our content. And uh, if you have any suggestions for future episodes, um, hit us up in the comments, dog. Yeah. It doesn't matter where we post or what post you see. Just, you know, comment wherever, whatever uh, is more convenient uh, yeah. for you. And just let us know what you would like to see in the future. Yeah. And, let us uh, know who you can fuck up. Yeah. 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 Who do you think you could take on a fight? Do you think you could beat the shit out of Taylor Swift? Let us know. Yeah, let us know. Yeah. All uh, right. Hashtag uh, beat Taylor Swift. <laughs> <laughs> hashtag beat the fuck out of Taylor Swift. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Beat the brakes off that bitch. <laughs> Just smack her in the ass so it swells up. <laughs> All right. And for any potential sponsors out there, send us, us some, send us some shit. <laughs> we can be uh, Swifties. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Brought to you by the Eras Tour. <laughs> <laughs> and by the Beyonce Tour. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Yeah, thanks again. Later, thanks, guys. Thanks, everyone. Bye.
uh, Morgan Freeman. <laughs> no, I'm not going to fight Morgan Freeman. You're going to fight God. Yeah, he's going to attack me with those freckles. Well, now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll fuck you up. 